Yo, it's Jazz. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. If you are new here, welcome. If you are a returning subby, what's up, sis? Today, we are doing our long-awaited apartment tour, guys. We stay here in North Mississippi. We have a 1,257 square foot apartment, three bedrooms. We also have a garage. Um, we have a style of modern boho, I can't say boho chic because I have a son and I have a husband, so I didn't want to girly it out. So I'll say boho farmhouse, modern boho, just boho. Um, we have a lot of blacks, whites. Uh, we have greeneries. We have tans. We have different things here to try to keep it on the masculine and feminine side. So I really hope that you enjoy this video. And as you can see, I'm a pampas lover. Through this entire part of you will see pampas everywhere. If I do not have something linked, please ask me where it's from. If it is something I bought recently, I would try my best to link it. I am new to this link game, and y'all, <laughs> it's a little rough on you girls. So, I hope you enjoy this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Come back and visit. I have a lot of stuff coming, y'all. Content that you do not want to miss. Enjoy. So, this is Peace. my little setup when you first walk in. We have our camera, our door hanger. A chair here that the kids or I come sit in, a little planter and a faux plant out here. Now they just finished that um vacuuming. They just got finished uh mowing the grass, so it's a little dusty. So let's go in. When you first walk into the left hand side, you're going to see our mask rack, and we also use it as a key rack. We have a coat closet, and in our coat closet. Of course, coats. <laughs> and then you're gonna have some miscellaneous items up here. Um, AJ's shoes that he put on like when he takes his work shoes off, his work uniforms, um, our vacuum cleaner, a couple of my ring lights. When you walk onto the side, you're going to see our mirror that I got from Walmart. I'm definitely going to paint the mirror because it's too dark, I, it's, it's too much. It's like blending in with the TV and I hate that. We got this lantern here from Home Goods. It was $20. There's a place here called House to Home that we got the LED candle from. Thought it was cute, popped in a couple AA batteries and there you go. My uncle bought us this TV when we first moved in. It's 70 inches. We have this little wicker tray here full of our remotes and that holds our room spray, hearth in hand. <sighs> this pampas smells so freaking good, y'all. I have the pampas candles everywhere. So, my mother-in-law bought us this entertainment system that I'm actually gonna repaint because it has a couple scuff marks on it, but I absolutely hate this. This is a sore thumb, like the wires, the game system, the Wi-Fi box, all of that. I gotta, I gotta find some kind of way to hide that stuff. Um, here is just AJ's laptop. A couple things like decor pieces that I'm not using right now. This really good smelling camp pampas candle, it actually burned out um, because I, I burned all day long. I love, love, love it, it smells so good. If y'all ever see these in Target, you better get it. This cute little planter and faux plant came from Target Dollar Spot. Over here in this corner, we have black pampas that I dyed a couple days ago that I actually have a video on. We have this huge vase that I got from Home Goods. It was $24. The price was unbeatable. You, I had to get it. It was clear. I ended up painting it white. This garment rack here came from Target. And I absolutely love, love, love it. I had some clothes here at first when I was gonna do a try on. Decided not to do the try on. So I was like, let me make this a cute little space. This faux plant came from Dollar General for $10. This planter came from Walmart this year for $14.97. Um, pampas, as y'all know, I don't buy pampas from anywhere. I cut it out of my father-in-law's land. Uh, back in 2020 for our wedding. So it's been around for a long time. This jute vase is from Pop Shelf. It was $10. This bee is actually galvanized from Hobby Lobby. I just spray painted it black. The macrame is from Marshalls. 
And I actually have two of those, one on that end as well. The blanket ladder came from Kirkland's and <laughs> this was a little DIY project that I did. So yeah, it's kind of poor. So I gotta actually redo that. The blanket came from Kirkland's as well. Now let's move into our curtains, y'all. Absolutely love, love, love these curtains from Amazon. They are velvet. They are my favorite. Now, before I show y'all this, don't laugh. But I spray painted these curtain rods that I got from Walmart. It was silver at first. I have to paint this. I know, I know, I know it's a sore thumb. Um, but definitely have to paint that. I got the curtain hooks from Target Threshold brand. It was a pack of seven for nine dollars. Um, like I said, I have another macrame over here and another set of those curtains. I still have to put like another curtain ring here because it's kind of falling down. And of course, I have to paint that, um, paint like the little sit in part for the curtain rod. I have to paint that, spray paint that black as well. This is our drop cloth sectional. I got the drop cloth from Home Depot. This here donut vase came from Marshalls. It is textured, so, so, so gorgeous. My links came from Amazon. This tray is from House to Home, the same place that I got the little LED candle. This is actually like a, a basket but I am using it as a coffee table, something different. I'm still looking for a coffee table, but for now that's gonna work. The pillows that's on the sectional, I got this one from Pop Shelf. There's actually an insert in here from Amazon. The cover came from Amazon as well. This cover came from Amazon. This cover came from Amazon and the insert and the cover came from Amazon. This is from Pop Shelf and over here, we just have the same pillows all over again. These pictures came in like a set of, what was it? It was like a set for $50, if I'm not mistaken, that I got from Hobby Lobby. They're kind of whopped. I got to fix them, but that is that. Just give y'all a little overview of the living area. So let's move on to the bar. So. I got this really cute lamp for $50. <laughs> As y'all can see, it has pampas everywhere. Gotta get my lamp roller out. So, got this from Marshalls. It was $50. I got this little cute fan from Target Dollar Spot. This is actually another donut vase. And I got that donut vase from Marshalls. It was $12.99. I love, 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 y'all, my air wick diffuser. Like, when I tell y'all I'm in love with it, I'm in love. I am so, so, so in love with it. And it smells so good. I have another Pampas candle that burnt down. <laughs> like I told y'all, I, I burn them all day long. This is actually um, one that I ordered off Amazon. Of course, it doesn't look like mine because mine, you know, it was a DIY, but got that from Amazon. Got this little wood piece from Amazon. I actually used it for our wedding and I had more left over. So I decided just to put it here. I turned my mini hutch into a bar. So I have these glasses here that came from Target. These glasses here came from Audi. This is actually AJ's cup. It's like a cognac cup and a cigar holder on top. Those two clear coffee mugs came from Amazon. These cups are from Target Dollar Spot. My champagne glasses are from Dollar General, y'all. One dollar, okay? So that's it. Oh, my wine rack is from Amazon. These are from Dollar Tree. And, oh my God, my favorite, favorite cups, y'all. Amazon has these. This is a beer can glass cup. I absolutely love them. Walk into Marshall's one day, found this for eight dollars if i'm not mistaken it was on sale and it was just too pretty to leave at marshall so i grabbed it so that is the entire full overview of the living room 
so if we start back this way we have our kitchen dining area if you want to call it in my purse <laughs> um this sign here came from ross it was $24.99 i had to get it it was super beautiful i got this gorgeous little cheetah vase from michael's these are my absolute favorite vases that I got from the Heart from Hand collection at Target. This one was $24.99. This is also a Heart and Hand um, bowl that I got from Target. And I just got some little greenery from Joann's. I actually need another pack in here. Um, I always have my iPhone, I mean my uh, tablet out and I just have it on some kind of peaceful music i love listening to that it gives me spa vibes and of course y'all see a freaking pampas scandal. <laughs> i got this wicker basket here from marshall's don't know how much it was um and i got this little throw blanket here from target it's actually pillow fort brand they have so many different colors out right now um let's see here we have a deep freezer during the pandemic, we had to get a deep freezer, y'all. So we got this standing deep freezer from Sam's. We have this container here. I got this from Ikea, and I have just the um, holder here from Target. Found this cute little black clock from Sam's Club a few years back. My walls are terrible. Like I have to get them wiped off and stuff, y'all. Having two kids, white walls, it don't work. <laughs> it don't work at all. Um, I have this vase as well from Heart and Hand Collection. This one was $29.99. Um, it's taller, it's a little skinnier, and that one is kind of like short and chubby. More pampas, of course and more of my beads. I love the beads. I got these placemats here from Big Lots. It was a pack of four for $16.99. Eddie's high chair. <laughs> um, this Good Eats sign came from Kirkland's, y'all. I love some Kirkland's, so. Most things came from Kirkland's, Marshall's, or Home Goods, or Target. Like, that's my, those are my go-to places for everything. Moving on towards the kitchen. My favorite, favorite, favorite part of this area is my accent wall. I got the um, wallpaper from Target. It was the Open House brand. Our canvases came from Walgreens when they had like a 60% off sale and I snagged them up. So that is the overview of our dining area entryway whatever you want to call it <laughs> now let's go into the kitchen as we go into the kitchen you guys will see we have a laundry closet over that way we have these beautiful cabinets only thing i hate about these cabinets is the smudge effect absolutely hate that and i wipe them down so much and the smudge still happens so we have your basic appliances a stove microwave, dishwasher, and we have a refrigerator, stainless steel. Um, we have this cute little picture here. Well, no, I'm sorry about the stuff, mm -hmm. but this cute little picture here is from Target. My crock is from Kirkland's. All my utensils are Amazon. I got the jute rug from Marshall's. It's kind of nicked a little. Uh, I almost fell one day and had to grab hold of something. <laughs> but like I said, loving our floors right over here. On this side, we have like a little desk and I keep my business stuff on here. If you did not know, I own a cheesecake business, Avon's Eatery and Events. And I just keep my mixers. Like I have extra cookies from yesterday and icing that I don't use, a bucket of ice in here. And I also keep the kids um, snacks down here at the bottom. So that's that. As you can see, this is our pantry. Oh my God, I'm scared to open. I don't know what it, it's not too bad, it's not too bad. So, cereal, spaghetti, powdered sugar up top. We have rice, croutons, pastas here, um, cereal for the kids, granola bars, like extra pastas, um, 
canned things down here. We usually keep like a case of water. It's kind of, y'all, it's kind of dirty. I need to sweep in there. But used to keep our case of water down here and like juices. If I step back, we can walk towards the laundry closet. And this is what we have in here. So I have all of my stuff. <laughs> my son's pajama shirt i have all my stuff in here labeled with my minimalistic labels from amazon so this acrylic um kleenex case is from amazon and i'm just using it as dr for dryer sheets to have my label on it disposals are just the lint that comes out of the dryer um detergent bleach my scent boosters fabric softener y'all this is amazing lysol cleaner you use it when like you know you've washed clothes for the week clean out your um y'all washing machine guys it's important uh sanitizer for your clothes it's definitely time for a refill but this is what i have i built this shelf um i bought some wood did some screws it was it was a bang up job but it works so good for you know what i actually use it for the noise is addy in the back y'all i keep um hangers because i try to hang out important clothes up when i say important i mean like dressy clothes i try to hang those up instead of put them in a dryer so these are eddies these are so uh so much for aj allen and i over here we keep kind of like tools and different things up here aj's dirty shoes um we have our appliances up here so we won't have to have them all on our countertop here it's it's refill time <laughs> but tissue and paper towels usually are here um Clorox wipes, Febreze, um, what is that, Odorban, Lysol, here, I always call it our little clean caddy. This is um, toilet seat covers when we go out of town, some uh, disinfectant wipes that you can just take with you, a jar of hand sanitizer, like when company comes over, um, little Lysols in here, little tissues, shoe coverings for people that don't wanna take their shoes off when they come in. Um, extra light bulbs are here. We have disposable toilet wipes here. And we have our garbage bags for the big trash can and the small ones. And we just have our broom and mop in here. And Alan's pajama shirt. <laughs> so here is an overview of the kitchen. As we turn from the laundry closet, we will be walking into Addie's room. Y'all, this dresser was at our dumpster one day and it looked brand new. We got it, looked to see what was wrong. Absolutely nothing. We sanitized it super good and um, we made sure all the drawers work and everything was perfect. So we got it, wiped everything down, let it set out in our garage for a couple hours. Well, actually a couple days to let everything, make sure everything was good. Um, I got this cute mirror from Home Goods. I seen one in Hobby Lobby, I liked it, but it was so expensive and it wasn't cute as it should have been. Um, also in Eddie's room, we keep our iron and ironing board like behind the door. Um, her curtains came from Marshall's. They were $14.99. She has a cute little desk here. This is her outfit for today. But cute little desk, cute little chair here. Her piggy, some sunglasses. She keep her remote over here. And her baby picture. She just has her little shopping cart that she got from Home Goods. It was like $14.99. I got her a wicker basket to put her toys in. And I did this little DIY bow project. Um, this came from Walmart. The clips came from Walmart and all of her bows usually come from Amazon. This cute little piggy picture here came from Hobby Lobby. This, um, what do you want to call this? I forgot what they call these, y'all. My mind just drew a blank. But I got this from Home Goods for it was like around, it was around Valentine's Day. Um, and here is her closet. Y'all, she loves her some baby Yoda. Loves, loves, loves Baby Yoda. So this is her closet here. Just kind of go color coordinating. She has her big bows here. We do the bucket system um, where we just put outfits in them for the week and just let her pick out whatever. This here is my little craft cart. I have my heat press, some paint, 
my Cricut machine and my vinyls and all that type of stuff. Oh, and her shoes are on the door to try to give it more space. If we turn the corner, her little cute dolls that she has from Target. She has a little pig because it was supposed to be like a pig themed and then it turned to a lot of other stuff. So I gotta try to get her room together together. Um, this here is a little lamp that we got um, from Target. We had this cute like wicker nightstand from Marshalls. It was $59.99. Her bed came from Amazon. This throw is just like the throw that was in there on the console table. Um, Pillow Fort brand. They have a lot of different colors out, y'all. Her comforter is also Pillow Fort brand. She has her baby Yoda. Her pink pillow is Pillow Fort. This pillow, I could not believe that it matched the way it did. It came from Home Goods and it was on sale for $15 that day. Um, so yeah, that's that for Miss Addie's room. And her cutout came from a girl I went to high school with. She does wood decor, so she cut out her name. I painted it. And this is the overview of Miss Addie's room. So walking out of Addie's room, we go straight into Alan's room. Disclaimer, okay? I am in the process of changing his room around. That is like not supposed to be seen. That's vacation stuff. We're about to load the car up. Um, but his room needs some TLC. He changes what he likes every year, it seems. He is so into dinosaurs now. So got him this cute little pillow fort, um, which he put his pillowcases on wrong. But hey, hey, he tried. Um, pillow fort brand, um, his little dinosaur here, his pillow, the sheets, and the comforter. Pillow Fort brand. These are Amazon. Um, it's actually, bless you, honey. It's actually an insert, and the pillows are from Amazon as well. That's inserted inside. This is Pillow Fort brand. This cute little blanket. I also got him a wicker basket to put all of his toys in. Um, these have to go because they are black. It matched his old stuff. He broke that. <laughs> um, his his garbage can has to go too because it's not matching what he wants in here. I took his pictures down because they were like a buffalo and a horse. We have horses all on his little shelf over here, y'all. We changed so much stuff, but I'm slowly getting everything that he wants in here. I got this cute little dinosaur lamp from Target. It is Pillow Fort brand. And his little dinosaur bank is also Pillow Fort brand. So, not much to really see. Oh, he has the same chair Addie has. So not much to see in his room because we are still in the process of changing his room around, trying to wipe off his walls. Little boys are just harder on things than girls are. So his room will definitely be a um, another video when I actually redo the entire room. But there's your overview of his room. If we walk straight out of his room, we will walk into the bathroom. So we got this cute shower curtain from Marshalls, $24.99. And I love the way it looks at the end. I got this from Target, Addie's little potty. She's potty training right now. Um, Yeah, just your normal bathroom, guys. We have the sign tray that we have in the living room. Of course, the Pampas candle. Oh my God, it's almost burnt out. Um, Poopery spray bottle is from target dollar spot i just put a minimalistic label on it um paper towel holder was from home goods my mom bought this because we have to have a light in the hall alan has to have a light on when he sleeps these two shelves i got from big lots just put tissue on it this little faux plant came from marshall's pampas from my father-in-law's land um, this vase here is from Dollar General. This sign, I got at Hobby Lobby maybe a couple years ago and I just put it in here. And to keep everything kind of organized, I got a um, rack to put on back of the door for our towels. And that's gonna go, that's for this bathroom, that's from Aldi's. So 
this is the overview of the bathroom, guys. Oh, I forgot. Addie has her little step stool because like I said, she can't reach up there by herself. And uh, let's explain this. So <laughs> one day I was trying to kill a spider, broke off a whole piece under there, but you know what? It's fine. We still got it. And I'm gonna stick it back on one day or get AJ to stick it back on. But yep, that's our bathroom. As we walk on down the the <laughs> I was about to say the highway. As we walk on down the hallway, guys, this is our bedroom. And what do they say? This is where the magic happens. So let me show you our bathroom. So this is our master bath. It is very simple, nothing extravagant. This picture here came from Big Lots. Shower curtain is from Target. I keep just like the same little hook that I have in the other bathroom from Aldi. Um, I have this little rack here from Marshalls that I bought. I think it was $20. I am obsessed with Tree Hut, so I have several of those. I am an earring collector, y'all. My mom has an earring business and it's not good for me. So, all of my earrings are here. We have like all of lipsticks, makeup brushes, eyeshadow, sunglasses, makeup removers, concealer, foundation. It's very dirty because I've had it for a while now. AJ has all of his stuff here, um, like ring, cufflinks, earrings, you know, all the men stuff. So that stuff is there. These gorgeous earrings are from my friend. She made them for me. Um, I am in the process of packing. So those are my little makeup cases from Amazon. This is AJ's because he's packing his stuff. I have this Pampas candle, of course. This Q-tips jar came from Dollar General. Just put some Q-tips in it. All of my minimalistic labels. This gorgeous body candle came from um, my friend that owns Deluxe Candles. This jar is from Target. Label, of course, needs to be refilled with cotton balls. Have my Epsom salt in here. This large one came from Burlington. Um... But that's it, nothing too fancy in here. Paper towel holder, home goods. Jar is from Target Dollar Spot with the minimalistic label. As we come here, Addie put a paper towel on the bed, but, um, and y'all, y'all are catching the real stuff. She obviously just did that too. So let's turn on this light, y'all. Let's see. So back here, we have my purse bookcase. This bookcase is from Target. I am a Brahmin fan. Love me a Brahmin bag. Um, I have two Stony Clover backpacks. My Weekender, I did a video on that, unboxing it. Um, once again, my Airwick diffuser. Love, love, love it, y'all. Another donut base with some Pampas and just one of my Brahmin bags. See, love that diffuser. So that's that. This is AJ's side of the bed. He just has like a little, um, a little wicker lamp that he, well, that I got from Marshalls, $24. We have to put towels in our window seals because they leak so, so, so terribly bad, y'all. Um, if it's too cold in here, hot outside, it'll like fog up, it'll start to do the little, drip thing so we have to put towels in our window seals our comforter came from home goods cannot remember which brand it is but it came from home goods pillows and inserts of course amazon the green and the black amazon this pillow is from home goods i got two of them they were $24.99 some regular calvin klein pillows the three little baskets are from Ross. It was a set of three for $19.99. I thought it was a super, super steal. Um, here we have just a faux plant, another wicker, I guess it's wicker. Um, no, it's not wicker. It's more of a jute lamp that I got from Home Goods, just like the one up front. It is $50, like I stated earlier. This little nightstand really isn't a nightstand. I got it from Big Lots and it was galvanized and I just painted both of them white to go along with our bedroom, a jar of pampas, of course, and I made these cute little canvases. I have been seeing a lot of people make these, so I got a pack of five canvases and some speckling 
and I went ahead and made those and I'm in love with them. So curtains, like I said, towel in the one seal because they leak. Um, a little marquee sign, love you always. I have our Mr. and Mrs. Um, canister, it's a Radon canister. I used to collect Radon, fun fact. Um, and our dresser, now our dresser isn't in the best condition, but I seen a picture that I'm going to do with our dresser and I'm super excited about that. It'll blend in with our color schemes and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna put a picture up so y'all can see what I'm talking about. And of course, another Pampas candle. So that is our bedroom. And this is the overview. Oh, the clock. Y'all, the closet is kinda, woo. <sighs> Let's pray. This is our closet. I keep all my boots up top, all of my stuff here. I try to keep my shoes here, just like I have the one for Eddie. Um, Y'all, AJ's side of the closet is absolutely terrible. He is a shoe head. And for Father's Day, my ultimate goal is to um, do like a shoe case for him. So that's definitely gonna happen. Okay guys, that wraps up today's video. If you like this video today, make sure you like, share, and comment your favorite part. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel, The Bowen Way. We have fun over here, okay y'all? So follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. And that's your Whammy Shabami for today. Peace.